Hi everyone and welcome to week two of Camp Kesem Online. I am so excited today to lead a mindfulness and meditation activity. My name is Puddles and my pronouns are she, her, hers. A little background on me. I have been a camp counselor for Kesem for three years. Um, Instantly, the first meeting I went to freshman year, I knew I wanted to be a part of this community. Um, at that meeting, I felt so welcomed and was filled with so much joy. Now, I look forward to every year going to Kesem, and I am continue to be filled with that joy and magic. I am sad that uh, we are not able to see each other's faces in person at camp but I am still so lucky and grateful that we are able to connect through this virtual Camp Kesem. Um, I have been using a lot of mindfulness activities and meditation during this quarantine. I have found it super helpful to calm my nerves and ground my body and mind. Um, in, at Madison, I studied social work and graduated this spring. In the fall, I will be pursuing my master's in social work and will be focusing on school social work. Um, I know that last week, Lamb Chop, um, one of our other counselors, did a great job leading um, the first mindfulness and meditation activity. She shared a little bit about how her how she found her camp name, and so I decided that I would do the same. So my name is Puddles, and I found this name because when I was little, my sister and I called ourselves Toots and Puddles after this children's book about little pigs. So I had those names um from my memories of my childhood and loved the name Puddle, so I decided to stick with it. And that's been my name ever since. Um, so today what we are going to do is talk briefly about what mindfulness and meditation is and why people practice it. Um, and then we will go into different mindfulness activities. We will do some fun poses, um, observe our surroundings, and then uh, look into our own bodies. And lastly, end with a gratitude exercise. All right, so mindfulness is a really um, great practice and activity. Mindfulness brings awareness to your thoughts, sensations, and emotions. Mindfulness is about noticing, noticing your breathing, how your emotions um, are in your body and how your body feels. Um, you can think of mindfulness as a state of mind, an ability, and a practice. Um, it can actually be traced all the way back to the teachings of Buddhism. There are a lot of variations of mindfulness. Um, some of the mindfulness ones that we will be practicing is, um, of our body mindfulness and then a compassion exercise. Every a lot of people benefit from mindfulness. Um, it's bringing a gentle and accepting attitude to the present moment. Um, I have found mindfulness to really ground myself um, and help myself. Free my mind of any excess thoughts that were causing me anxiety and really allow myself to be happier. So if you want to learn more about meditation and mindfulness and the benefits of it, Lamb Chop does a really great job of explaining that more in depth. Um, and I really encourage you to look at her video. It is great. All right. And I also want to remind you that Mindfulness and meditation can be really fun. So I'm going to try to bring a variety of activities to you. You don't have to practice them all, and maybe you want to practice them in a shorter amount, whatever works for you. When you first start off, it can be kind of hard to be concentrated, and that's okay. Each day with more practice, you get the hang of it more. 
And you can continue to practice mindfulness every day, either in the morning, right when you wake up, um, right before you go to bed, or anytime you really want to. All right, before we start off with our meditation and mindfulness activities, I encourage you to find a place where you feel comfortable. Maybe you're grabbing a blanket, a nice chair, or just a place on the ground. I also have found that I enjoy uh, practicing these activities outside and hearing the nature around me. All right, before we do some sitting down and relaxing exercises, I'm going to show you some poses that might make you feel empowered. And they are pretty fun, too. All right, so the first pose is called Wonder Woman. And what this is, I'll try and show you, is you stand tall with your legs wider than hip width apart, and then you place your fists or your hands on your hips, tilt your chin up, and look forward. Now with this, we're going to take three deep breaths, all right? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to stay here a little more. I encourage you to continue to practice your breathing. And I also want you to notice how you feel. For me, this pose gives me confidence. It makes me feel like a real superhero. It makes me feel grounded to the earth. So I'll take some time and let you figure out how you feel. more breaths. All right, now we're going to try one more superhero related pose. This is called the Superman. So again, you're going to have your feet a little bit farther than your hip width apart. You're going to take your hands, put them into fists, and lift them up into the sky like you are flying like Superman. In this, you can also tilt your head up and look forward. Again, we're going to practice some deep breathing, all right? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, I want you to feel and notice how you feel using this pose. For me, this pose gives me strength. It gives me confidence. And it makes me feel like I can do anything I set my mind to. I'm going to take some moments and you can just notice how you feel. Continue to breathe in and out. All right. Thank you for doing those poses with me. Um, I found that I really like doing these poses before I have a big project. They, because they do give me that confidence. Um, I also like to do them when I wake up so that I feel like I have a lot of energy to start the day. <clears throat> now that we have done some of those superhero poses, we are going to continue with the superhero theme and use our spidey senses like Spider-Man. All right, so as I said in the beginning, a big part of mindfulness is about noticing. It's about noticing your environment, the things around you, as well as noticing your own body, your own feelings, and inside your mind. So this activity 
is another superhero related activity. Um, and we're going to be using the skills and strengths of Spider-Man um, to be noticing the environment around us. This activity is a great activity um, to really hone in on our environment and stay in the present. All right, so now I'm going to instruct everyone to turn on their spidey senses. So what this means, let's get those eyes open, the nose sniffing, the ears listening, and our hands for our sense of touch. All right. So let's start. I'm going to put on some music, just some nice calming ones. Now I encourage you to... Um, sit down and get relaxed and comfortable. All right. So first, let's use our eyes and look around where you are sitting. What do you see? If you're outside, maybe you see birds flying around. Maybe you see wind rustling flowers. Maybe you see a car driving by. Inside, maybe you see a sibling playing with toys or a bug <laughs> crawling around or maybe it's posters whistling on your wall. Let's take it in. As we take in our surroundings, let's take a deep breath in and out. Now I encourage you to close your eyes. Next, let's you open our ears. What do you hear around you? I hear water dropping through pipes. I hear upstairs someone walking around. Maybe you hear birds chirping, someone making food in the kitchen. Maybe someone is mowing the lawn. Let's take some time and listen. Let's use our sense of smell. What is it that you smell? Maybe it's chocolate chip cookies <laughs> baking in the oven. That would be nice. Or smell of flowers. Smell of laundry being done. Take a moment to smell. Hey, if you can't smell much, imagine something to smell like lavender. Great. Now let's hone into our sense of touch. Where are you sitting? Is it soft, fuzzy, hard, cold? Let's bring all those senses together. Notice our environment. How do you feel in this environment? Three more times. Deep breaths, in and out. In and out. Again. All right, 
Thank you for using your time to use your spidey senses. If you couldn't use them all, that is really okay. It's just really about noticing our environment around us. The next activity we're going to be doing is noticing how we feel with our bodies. All right. All right, now we will be moving on to our body scan meditation. So this is a great meditation and mindfulness activity for beginners who are trying to try out mindfulness and meditation. It allows you to focus on how your body is feeling. And for me, it allowed myself to concentrate more um, and feel comfortable. All right. So I hope that you are sitting in a comfortable position. You could be sitting in a chair and you can allow your back to be straight and not stiff with your feet on the ground. You could also do this practice standing or if you prefer, you can lie down and have your head supported. Your hands could be resting gently in your lap or at your side. Allow your eyes to close or to remain open with a soft gaze. Take several long, slow, deep breaths. Breathing in fully and exhaling slowly. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Feel your stomach expand on your next inhale. And relax and let go as you exhale. Begin to let go of noises around you. Begin to shift your attention from outside to inside yourself. If you are distracted by sounds in the room, simply notice this and bring your focus back to your brain. Now slowly bring your attention down to your feet. Begin observing sensations in your feet. You might want to wiggle your toes a little, feeling your toes against your socks or shoes. Just notice without judgment. You might imagine sending your breath down to your feet as if the breath is traveling through the nose to the lungs through the abdomen all the way down to your feet. And then back up again, out through your nose and lungs. Perhaps you don't feel anything at all. That is fine too. Just allow yourself to feel the sensation of not feeling anything. When you are ready, allow your feet to dissolve in your mind's eyes. Move your attention up to your ankles. Pull them up to your, your calves, your knees, and your thighs. Observe the sensations you are experiencing throughout your legs. Breathe into and breathe out of the legs. If your mind begins to water during this exercise, Gently notice this without judgment and bring your mind back to noticing the sensations in your legs. If you notice any discomfort, pain, or stiffness, try not to judge this. Just simply notice it. Observe how all sensations rise and fall, shift and change moment to moment. 
Notice how no sensation is permanent. Just observe and allow the sensations to be in the moment, just as they are. Breathe into and out from the legs. And on the next out breath, allow the legs to dissolve in your mind and move to the sensations in your lower back and your hips, softening and releasing as you breathe in and out. Slowly move your attention up to your mid back and upper back. Become curious about the sensations here. You may become aware of sensations in the muscle, temperature, or points of contact with the furniture or ground. With each outbreath, you may let go of the tension you are carrying, and then pretty gently, very gently, shift your focus to your stomach. Perhaps you notice the feeling of clothing or you notice the belly rising and falling with each breath. As you continue to breathe, bring your awareness to your chest and heart region. And just notice your heartbeat. Observe how the chest rises during the inhale and how the chest falls during the exhale. Let go of any judgment that may arise. On the next outbreak, shift the focus to your hands and fingertips. See if you can channel your breathing into and out of this area as if you are breathing into and out from your hands. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the sensations in your hands. And on the next out breath, shift the focus and bring your awareness up into your arms. Observe the sensations or lack of sensations that might be occurring there. You might notice some difference between the left arm and the right arm. As you exhale, you may experience arm softening and release tension. Continue to breathe and shift focus to the neck, shoulder, and throat region. This is an area where we often have tension. Be with the sensations here. It could be tightness or holding. You may notice the shoulders moving along with the breath. Let go of any thoughts or stories you are telling about this area. As you breathe, you may feel tension rolling off your shoulders. On the next out breath, shift your focus and direct your attention to your head and face. Observe all of the sensations occurring there. Notice the movement of the air as you breathe into or out of the nostrils. Notice as you breathe in and exhale out. As you exhale, you might notice the softening of any tension you may be holding. And now, let your attention expand to include the entire body as one. Bring into your awareness the top of your head down to the bottom of your toes. Feel that gentle rhythm of the breath as it moves through the body. As you come to the end of this practice, Take a full, deep breath, taking in all the energy of this practice. Exhale fully. When you are ready, open your eyes and return your attention to the present moment. As you become fully alert and awake, consider setting the intention that this activity is building awareness that will benefit everyone you come in contact with today.
Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this bottom scan body scan meditation. I hope you feel more relaxed and more energized, more calm, whatever you're feeling. That's okay. Maybe you want to say it out loud or just reflect in your mind. All right, we are going to end this session with um, repeating some phrases. This is part of a gratitude and loving um, meditation. Um, this meditation focuses on loving ourselves, loving the people around us, loving the earth. And um, this is really, it all starts with us. So I encourage you to repeat after me. All right, may I be peaceful. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I love fully. All right, when you said these words, I want you to think what they made you feel. Take your time to do this. And remember that there is nothing wrong or right here. Great. Right. Repeat after me. May I and everyone else be peaceful. May I and everyone else be loved. May I and everyone else be safe. Again, I encourage you to Think about what these words mean to you and what they mean to you. Let's take one big deep breath in and breath out. I want to thank everyone for joining me in this meditation and mindfulness activity. I hope that you enjoyed this time. Right now, I am feeling more at ease, and I am excited to continue my day. I encourage you, if you would like, to look back on these activities or share these activities with the ones that you love. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Camp Kesem at Home. CK Love Puddles.